Aliens. <laughs> Fucking aliens! I never... Never believed this could... Oh my god. Oh my god, bruh. Hey, hey, you know? Yeah? Shit the fuck! You guys saw it? The hell it looked like? It was a big? A bright? Sort of squid-like. Smooth. Metallic. Holy fucking shit. And stuff was just... Just rising off the ground. Floating. Are you seeing? No, we lost power. A bunch of us left Conrad. I was driving and... Ah, uh, damn, yeah. Damn, uh... Colonel Richter's dead. What? His helmet crashed. Jesus. You know who's in charge, Dill? Here? Uh, the Don. He's bringing arrivals up to speed. Oh, fuck me. You guys, you gotta go. Get the G2. Listen up. I got good news, bad news, and the biggest news of human history. If any of you doubt that, just take a look at Corporal Stipe. That is not the face of someone who hasn't just stepped off the magical fucking mystery tour. No. This gentleman is a first contact scenario. With what, sir? Intelligent life, Private. And I don't mean the sort you find every time you cross the state line. About one hour ago, an alien flying object entered Livonian airspace and came to a standstill above the old factory. There was some advance warning, but due to logistics chaos, nothing reached us in time and what did, we didn't understand. Contrary to whatever you might have heard, there's no playbook for this sort of situation. And to make matters worse, there's been a, uh, what do you call it? A transitory high-power microwave pulse. A transitory high-power microwave pulse. HPM, not EMP. For us, that's the same difference. Electronics are foobar. If it wasn't in a shipping container or a Faraday, you can bet your ass it's cooked. That goes for nods, gun lights, non-tritium optics, and most of our vehicles. Old with diesel, yes. Gasoline, no. Also, pacemakers. Hence the reason I'm talking to you now and not the Colonel. Our only casualty so far, but a problematic one. He overturned on the road, blocking access to Point Hopi. The Sparkies there have functioning equipment. Which is slowly coming in, but it might be some time before we can unfuck this mess. Sir, are aliens responsible for the HPM? Is this an invasion? That's unknown, Sergeant. Our trunk network's down. There is no way we can reach UCOM. To the world, we've just gone dark. Yet it appears it's not worldwide, not even nationwide. A forest ranger drove in from Stokovsko. His off-road's fine, and he was less than an hour away. Now, I appreciate you all want some answers. Doctor, if you would. Good evening, lads. I'm Dr. Ian Kesson, a theoretical physicist and professor at Maxwell University, Edinburgh. With me is Dr. Shimon Chapek, whose bloody t-shirt says it all. So anyway, let me cut to the chase. Eight days ago, I was approached in a bizarre manner by the International Space Agency, Astra. They asked me to travel to Livonia. TS clearance, a short stay in Bosch and out. No question. I figured they wanted me to investigate your training disaster. I wasn't wrong. But they also wanted my scientific assessment of an object spotted in a sinkhole that collapsed after the accident occurred. It was the root cap of a much larger subterranean structure. The tip of something that has been growing for millions of years. And though it's older than mankind, Earth is not its home. I can only imagine our interplanetary guests have arrived because of that discovery. And let me add, the Livonians didn't want this going public. The toxic vapors story was just a cover. A necessary lie to ensure biosecurity. Obviously that's no longer gonna stick. Our research center at the factory, it's been abandoned. Everybody scattered once we realized what was coming. Needless to say, we'd only a wee bit of time to prepare. None of us really expected such a attention. Put simply, we're on the back foot. Recon's our next objective. Lieutenant Kingsley and a small team are moving towards the factory as I speak. They have a mini UGV with them, courtesy of Dr. Chopek. Luckily, it was stored underground, in a testing range, which means it should still be operational. 
Specialist Rudwell. Sir. Try and connect using the laptop on that desk there. Hey, yeah. Uh, doctor, I'm not familiar with the software. Uh, it's the evil app. Huh, <laughs> no shit. Hold your thumbs. Our moment of truth. Excellent. We have telemetry. ED1E. So, do we call him Eddie? Fuck him. Me, not another one. Hear that, Ian? I right, fuck off. Let's hope we can get the video feed. I got visual. Get him up on the screen. Great. That's great. Audio? Track lock's on. You won't have any movement yet. Systems check. Mind if we test your binding first? You're the doc, doc. Can you pan the camera? All the way to the left. And same to the right. Now back to our friend in the mask. That's good. Can you give us a nod? Aw. You gone all shy? Okay, next. Manipulator arm. Can you raise it for me? Now, take it down again. Excellent. Extend it forward. That's it. And move it back. There you go. Servers all seem fine. And how do I unlock these tracks? Ah, thanks. Just not too fast, eh? Uh, do you want to play with the laser? Oh, the name of the wee man. It's not something you play with. No, I know. <laughs> Relax. He's got to do uh, a dry run, though. Hasn't he? Uh, Eddie's got a duplex sensing instrument. Gets us the composition of different rocks and stuff. Go ahead and try pulsing something. Uh, it consists of a laser-induced breakdown spectrometer and a remote microimager, which is why we call it LIPS RMI. Maybe explain it again in English. Huh? Oh, it, um, excites tiny spots into ionized gas, which we can then examine with a telescope, giving us an elemental readout. Yep. Very imaginative. Let's check what we've got in the log. Huh. A healthy dose of potassium, calcium, phosphorus, nitrogen, and quite a bit of carbon, actually. Not surprising, considering you're in a forest. Lots of... Tom. That's total organic matter, just in case you were wondering. Anyway, he's all set. Guide the robot onto the road, then. Sapphire 1-1 one, one are ready and waiting. Rendezvous and let's go from there. Yes, sir. Sapphire Actual, this is Alchemist. The mini UGV's online and coming to you. Stand by, over. Roger, standing by. You nervous, Lieutenant? Shitting nickels, Major. And uh, hot as hell in this moon suit, over. Remember, you volunteered, Kingsley. Get your game face on. Out. Sapphire, Alchemist, go time, over. Acknowledged. We're advancing. Out. Rudwell, follow. Try not to nip any heels. Dr. Kesson, do you have any special protocols? Have your men stay on that road. We want them visible. Better to be candid about it. 
And I guess I can't convince you to have your team approach unarmed. Not on your life. Aye, fair enough. Then we want them calm. And, um, as the astrobiologist here, I really can't stress the threat of microbes enough. Even in that CBRN gear, there's still a big risk of cross-contamination. Probably best if they don't touch anything. Sapphire, further to my last. Do not deviate from the road. Remain in sight. Slow your roll and keep those safeties on. Strict fire discipline. And don't for fuck's sake touch anything. That's why you got the robot. Over. Copy that. No touchy-feely. More to follow. Wait out. Getting a bit of interference here. Could be off the FO. I don't know. It's sporadic. Seems to be hitting us in waves. Alchemist, it's Sapphire. I'm not sure if you're seeing this. There's a log pile ahead. And, well, I don't know how else to say this, but... Say one of the logs? Log? It's it's over. You're breaking up. Words twice. Over. There's a log. And it is defying gravity. Over. How about Eddie gets a closer look? He can get the laser on it, collect some data? Agreed. Minimum exposure. Lieutenant, hold your position. The mini UGV will assess. Over. We'll go. We'll sit tight. Out. Okay. Weird shit analyzed. Nice job. Hmm. Well, composition's normal. It's insane that it's so localized. It's too specific. Too damn random. A rock over here, a log over there. Maybe it's some kind of quantum scale residue. Warping space-time. All oh, right. Just toss the fucking Q word in and everything makes fucking sense. Major Homewood, sir. You want me to continue? Keep to the road. There's an LDF checkpoint a little farther up. Let's push for that. These objects, it's like gravity's not even affecting them. How many rules of physics are being broken here, Dr. Kesson? I've no idea. Maybe all of them. Newton's laws of motion? They're definitely out of the window. They got to be pretty smart, right? Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. You quoted that. Newton overthrew Aristotle, Einstein overthrew Newton, and now? Oh, let's avoid jumping to conclusions. Dohai's look. My god, she's incredible. Sergeant, back this up off the VTX. And those means of propulsion? What? I, I don't see anything obvious. My point exactly. It's remarkable. Hey, I see something. It's glowing. Is that them? The light's not from us. N no power. I recommend pulling back the robot. It's an insincere representation of ourselves. They might think we've evolved into a post-biological state. Be that as it may, we're not taking any risks. Rudwell, carry on. Head towards it.
it's not anything living. Perhaps not, but it's hot. Looks more like ordinary matter, only superheated. It's been shaped as well, molded. Specialist Radwell, Eddie's got a telescopic biosampler mounted on his upper arm. It's invasive, but we'd learn a lot from a physical specimen. You'll have to maneuver the manipulator arm quite close. The lance has a very limited range. Do the trick? Yep. Perfect. We can process that later. Shit, you hearing that? Try and get a fix on it. Losing visual. God damn it! That EMI is getting stronger. Oh no. Come on! Connection's out. Can you get it back? No. Unlikely, sir. The feed tanked. And without GPS, the retro traverse isn't gonna work. Eddie's stuck there. And it's not possible it's an issue on our side? Could be. Can vouch for the integrity of this equipment, especially after those high-powered microwaves. A uh, faulty terminal, maybe? Sapphire, it's Alchemist. Radio check. Copy. You're Lima Charlie. Over. Loud and clear. Okay, wait one for tasking. Rudwell, troubleshoot. Run over to Point Hopi and bring us back another terminal. On my own, sir? Yeah, on your fucking own! I'm not gonna hold your hand. Follow the chemlight trail. The fog out there is getting worse. day of the accident. You know anything about relativity? Not only that it's used in GPS to make calculations. Yeah. Time dilation. Gravity affects time. GPS satellites in space need a tiny offset to stay in sync with places down on Earth, right? Are you saying that bomb missed because of gravity? It's just a theory. And I'm not the one saying it, am I? You want me to hand you over to the scientists? Not unless they got a cure for your stupidity, Jack. No. Ah, oh, fuck off. I ain't the one alone, in a forest, at night, in thick-ass fog, with aliens around. So, you know, you have fun with that. or 40 meters. Description, um, bean-shaped. Size of a car, maybe. Over. Roger. Understood. Out to you. Specialist Rudwell. Major Homewood. 
Post rep, over. Uh, somewhere between you and Point Hopi, sir. Over. You were a translator when you enlisted? Affirmative, but with all due respect, sir, if you're thinking of having me speak with them, I'm not qualified. Over. Actual facts. You're a linguist, a communicator. Get over there and assist. We want to introduce ourselves. Out. Point Hopi, an alien entity is heading your way. ROE. Do not engage. I say again, do not engage. Verify. Over. Uh, I verify. Alien entity. In inbound. We are weapons tight. Bluebells. Look like they are following suit. That Alpha Echo? It just came down behind a small copse of trees. Real hard to see what it's up to. Though, uh, it, it doesn't seem interested in us. Over. Break out any CBRN gear you've got. Get it on, now. Three mics. Mop level four. More to follow. Out. Hey. You from Kresnik? Did Don know we only got oversuits? Really? I ain't gonna be patient zero, pal. There's respirators too on the helmet racks. Better than nothing. Alchemist, this is Captain Spender. Advise, what's the play here? Over. Biosec, you suited and booted? Over. More or less. Everyone's got masks on, at least. Best we could do, given the current circumstances. Over. And no one get too close. There's a Dr. Kesson here. He's gonna help coordinate this. A little point hoping. Can you tell me what you see there? Not a lot. A bluish pulsing glow. The Alpha Echo or alien entity, it's on the other side of a glade. And our team have no line of sight. Over. Do you lads have any working lights handy? Affirmative. We've turned them off. Turn them back on, please. Everything you've got. Let's see if he responds. All right, lights! The Rangers off-road too. Switch the headlights on. Doctor, we're lit. Nothing from it yet. Over. Give it another 60 seconds and kill the lights, Captain. Holy fuck. It's lifting them up. They're flashing. They're rising up and flashing. There's one red tint lamp. The others are alternating with it. Jesus, suffering. Fuck. That could be banging a cord. I think he's trying to communicate. Dr. Kesson, we have a functional PA system. How about music? There's classics for the AFR. Armed Forces Radio. We could relay them pretty easy. Over. Aye, give that a go. But I don't expect he'll make much sense of it. Nothing. It's not reacting, over. Different evolutionary imperatives. He may lack the sensory perceptions favored by ourselves. And that's assuming he's alive. The reality is, our visitors could have cast our biological fetters aside a very long time ago. Now hold on a second. Specialist Rodwell, you there, lad? Yeah, affirmative. Apparently you have a Faraday cage unit, a modified container. There should be a gadget for analyzing EM activity inside. Can you take a wee look for me? See if it's working? I got an M-Spec device. That what you mean, Doc? Over. Yeah. Search the radio spectrum for activity. Copy that. And I can point this at him? He's not gonna get pissed off? Not he's a shoot. We're only listening. I got a signal. A ping. Not so sure it's alien, though. Over. Huh. Okay. Uh... The Major wants to talk. Rudwell, update. Ignore it. The Alpha echoes between you and an LDF squad. Observing opposite. That ping? It's just a data packet. Coming from a friendly. A quick fix. Auxiliary tracker. On account of the power out. Is there anything else going on? Over. No. Negative. I got Zed. Roger. Conferring. Try switching antennas. There's an experimental one. In the EMP proof container. Over. Major, good to go. I swapped it with, I don't know, looks like an old TV antenna. Over. Hell, probably is. Scan for any unusual transmissions. Huh. 
Huh. Is it attempting a reply? No evidence of that. It's shifting frequencies. Go again. Could be a pattern. Solid copy. Rudwell, our scientific liaisons are nervous about inadvertently jamming our visitors. Dance slowly, then resume passive electronic surveillance. Over. Alchemist. Multiple casualties. The alien, it's gone. Need immediate assistance. Do you copy? Nothing heard. Does anybody copy? Redwell, it's Dylan. You gotta get back to Crescent. Shit's kicking off here, man. <laughs> yeah? It's kicked off here, too, man. Get the Major! Trust me on this one. RT fucking B. Talk to me, Dill. What's going on? It's Jack. You've got explosives. All the Krovacs off our demining drones. Son of a bitch. He says he's gonna blow up the camp if the LDF don't disarm. All right. We gotta calm him the fuck down. I'm halfway there. Ah, shit, man. The dog's pulled his pistol on Jack. Baker and Lane are arguing with the Bluebells. About, about whether he's hostile. Hostile? Defensive, not hostile. We fired first. Don't let anyone there do anything stupid. Situation. Situation? Everybody's shooting one another. LDF Hightail. Fuck! Fuck! They're gonna be coming right at you! What? Keep a low profile. They're running for it. Did we just go to war with Labonia? No! Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, some of us did.
They were gonna call a damn artillery strike on it, Rudd. Someone had to do something. Yeah? Like what? This? This? You fucked us, Jack! No, no. We fucked ourselves. You'd rather I let the LDF spark an intergalactic war? I did what I did. You don't have to be happy about it. And the Don? Uh, yeah, he took a shot at me and... I don't know. I, I don't know. It didn't end well. He's all over the fucking place if you catch my drift. Bad juju. Look, come on, we gotta move. Now. Before this fog lifts.